evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Angelique Lazardi. John overall has the evening off. First responders in southern Arizona are now taking extra precautions as the coronavirus continues to spread throughout the country. News 4 Tucson's Ellie Potter is live outside the Tucson Fire Department headquarters with the details. So Allie, what precautions are first responders taking? Well, good evening, Angelique. Sick Tucsonans, that's nothing new to the Tucson Fire Department. And we're well into flu season, of course. And then we just got word yesterday there is one person that's been diagnosed with the coronavirus. And so firefighters say it's very important to be prepared. They deal with sick people. That's part of their job. We've been prepared for many years. We have a flu season every year, and this one is maybe a little bit different, but um, still the same kind of concept of how we take care of ourselves. Tucson firefighters are well equipped with personal protective equipment. Gowns, gloves, masks. Um, they're well trained in how to take care of themselves and how to decontaminate after a call. If Tucson fires call to your house, they will be well suited and protected before coming to the home. Just in case there were an undiagnosed case of coronavirus inside. You may have our firefighters asking someone to step outside. The reasons for that is that uh, there's less things that they could touch that may expose them to the virus. You may see them standing back just a little bit as they talk to you with that initial assessment. Their top priority is keeping the community safe and healthy, but also the firefighters and their families. We need these fire trucks staffed with people available to respond to your emergency. So our situation is a little more unique. And right now, Tucson Fire is working on a plan, say, if maybe a massive group of people get coronavirus here in Tucson. But as of right now, only one person has been diagnosed with it in Pima County. We've got you covered from downtown. Mally Potter News 4 Tucson.